Right, hi guys, so we're at Pico HQ today and some of our Tesla owners have been moaning um, about the fact that they cannot charge their vehicles. So here at Pico we have um, the Zappi My Energy chargers um, and there's some very quick and simple tests you can do without even connecting to the vehicle just to make sure what's going on. Now, with the Teslas, we have been in and looked in the service menu and found that there is an issue with the PP voltage. The car doesn't like it. It's then it classes the charger as unrecognized, so it doesn't charge. So what we're going to do first is just measure to see what resistance we have on the PP circuit. So remember that proximity line is how the vehicle knows the charger is connected. So when we disconnect, we obviously have our CP and PP circuits at the top and obviously our PE, which is the ground, so the PP circuit is here. Now this is a 32 amp charger, and full of water, because they all are. Um, so we are looking for around about 220 ohms worth of resistance. Now, there is a guided test, obviously you apply that, check it out, and then it will give you all the information about the different charging current capabilities and their varying PP resistor values. So we're just gonna take our BNC Plus resistance lead. We have got the scope up and running with the settings at 20 milliseconds per division, so it is in block mode. And we have a measurement, and let's just change the measurement to large. They've just given us the average. So, as soon as I connect the PP circuit to um, the PE using the resistance lead, we can see we have 220 ohms. I think that's fairly satisfactory. So this would imply that everything is good, we're gonna connect the vehicle and it will charge up, which this charger does. So this charger doesn't have a problem. So we're gonna head over to the other one. This charger on some Teslas doesn't like it and it is a bit of an intermittent issue. So we have found the problem, but what we're gonna see if we can do is replicate it. So again, we have the Zappi charger, we have a 32 amp charger, so we're looking for the same 220 ohm resistance. So again, we're gonna measure across the PE and PP circuit, looking at resistance, and there we go. We have 460 ohms. Now what I'm gonna try and do is if we watch the screen, I'm gonna try and manipulate the wire and we can see that resistance changing. So, so again, we'll just try and, there we go, right, so just desperately trying to hold everything in place as we wiggle the wire, and you can see that there, it's all over the place and changing our resistance. So, looks like this potentially got an internal failure with the wiring, so we're gonna strip this plug apart and have a look. Um, but yeah, this is most likely the prob problem with the reason why these Teslas are being so susceptible to not charging. Um, equally, you'll probably find now at 400 and something odd ohms, most of the other charts won't charge either. Cheers.